Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Tuesday market webcast. Okay, so daily chart. We had the test of the daily mid band here back on the sixth. Um, I believe that was Thursday. Uh, they held it nicely. They brought it back in. You got this 3571 from back on the third that needs to get taken out. If that opens up, then that really opens the door to go down and testing the uh, the lower band on the daily chart. Um, you know, we talk about how the many likes to trade. You know, upper band, middle band, lower band, upper band, middle band, lower band. Except when you get super trendy. When you get super trendy, either the upside or the downside. So middle band, upper band. Um, you know, rides the upper band, comes in, tests the middle, and converts here, right? We had a lower band ride, tested the middle for a couple of days. We had this rejection up at the 200, which was a big moment. Um, that may turn out to be the moment of the fall right there. Um, um, down, lower band ride, test. So, you know, what's next? Um, I don't walk around looking for the market to do unusual or unexpected things. I walk around looking to say, well, what's the, what's the most likely thing that's going to happen on this chart? And then I just, I go with that. I expect that. What's most likely thing to happen on this chart? You take out 3571, you deal with a lower band. Then we'll see what they have once they, you know, they, they've traded as low as 3584 quarter in Globex, which is fine. They bounced it right off of the 3600 um, uh, roundy yesterday. So they've already taken out the prior day low. So the most likely scenario is that we continue to bleed down. Now, are we taking any position trades or swing trades or any of that complete nonsense in order you know, to get from here to there? No, we're just gonna keep trading what's in front of us. So we had a couple of nice shorts yesterday. We had a nice long, um, you know, there's plenty of volatility in the tape and you don't need to get all bulled up or all bared up to make it happen. Um, just trade what is in front of you. Respect risk and if something isn't working, you have to look at, take a long look at the other direction. The last thing I'll say about the daily chart is, you know, this will persist. It's been, this is session five now. There's gonna be rippers along the way. You can be long, you can stand aside, don't fight bear market rallies from the short side. They go farther and they last longer than people think and they will, they will drain your, your, your actual capital and your mental capital on the way. Uh, what do we got here? Hourly chart. So yeah, I mean, it's just steady control from the bears, right? I mean, they just, they're, they're doing their job. There's your middle band resistance. Daily pivot shut it down um, back on, on Friday and they broke weekly pivot into the close. So I think breaking that weekly pivot, even though they did trade to a higher high over the course of yesterday, um, you know, closing below it, now holding it, although we didn't really get a real test, but that may be the best you get this week. That may be as close as you get. We'll have to see. Um, and then just steady to the down, just steady to the down. Um, it's, it's a down, this is a down market. It is a down market. The only thing really outstanding to me on, on the five minute chart, um, and it's just kind of going the other way now, is the yellow line volume weighted average price had been pretty cooperative as resistance through the Europe session. They just in the last 15 minutes, they popped up over the top of it. They're trying to have it go support. So they may be getting ready to walk it back up into the open a little bit. This is the hourly mid band. You can see it shut it down during Globex here and here. That may get another look here up at 36.13. And we'll, uh, I'll be curious to see what happens at that point. All right, that's all I got. Everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe, be healthy, take care, trade them well. I'll talk to you tomorrow.